She-Hulk episode seven. So we are two episodes away from the finale. This review will have spoilers in it. Um, you know, I I think this this episode is finally getting somewhere to the show where I enjoy a little a little bit more. Because don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying the show. I think it's a good show. It's it's just the issue is. I think overall in MCU shows, this would probably be pretty low in a lot of people's rankings. And that's because while it's a fun show, while it has humor, while it has things I enjoy, there's not a lot happening. And I get a lot of it is sitcom week to week, but that also feels a little just like, why am I even watching this at points? Just some episodes just feel like that. And this episode... Jen is happy with her new guy. She hooked up with in the last episode. And, you know, at the end of this episode, we find out he's a villain. And But it's really funny because she stops off to see the abomination. Because of his little... What do you call those things? that uh, Those house arrest things. Whatever they are that you get on your legs or whatever. Anyways, he, he they go in and check on him. And to see if he escaped because they thought he escaped and he didn't and everything was good i find it funny that they sent jen and this uh, and them and not an actual police officer but okay a little too stupid of writing there but you know uh, they go in there check on him and then you know jen's car gets damaged by these like this, this the bowl like character and this other guy and and then they kind of like she it tends this uh therapy meeting and it, it's a funny episode there's some funny humor with these kind of like knockoff cheap pathetic super villains and like the abomination teaching like therapy and meditation and it, that's funny to me i really enjoyed that kind of element of the story and it was goofy and just made me laugh I, but i liked the episode i thought it was solid uh it, it had a lot of fun there so yeah i was totally uh there for that <laughs> i thought it was a really great episode and I, I like that at the end of this episode, we kind of see where the plot is going. Because, you know, these last two episodes, I think, are going to be a little bit more plot-focused than the last two. Which is good. Um, because, you know, again, I enjoyed this show. I just, I think this is maybe going to be a little bit weaker in everybody's in MCU ranking of these shows. Just because the level of quality. It's not necessarily on the bottom of my list. I think it's actually pretty high on the list. But for a lot of people, it won't be. And that's kind of where we're at with this. <laughs> 